Climbers need to use lots of gear and rock protection, carabiners and ropes are among the most important. The Kernmantle rope is the vital link between the lead climber and the bee layer. This dynamic inner core, or kern, contains twisted strands that provide most of the strength and shock absorption in the event of a fall. The primary job of the sheath, or mantle, is to protect that core from dirt and abrasion. But not all climbing ropes are the same. A so-called single rope like this one can be used on its own for routes on indoor walls, outdoor crags and easy angled alpine ascents. There are alternatives to using one single rope. These include two half ropes and so-called twin ropes. But unless your first climb is going to be a long and meandering rock route or a punishing ice climb, a single rope should suffice. Now this single 50 metre rope has a diameter of 10.5 millimetres. It's shorter and heavier but more durable than a 60 metre rope with a diameter of just 9.2 millimetres. Static ropes have no shock absorbing qualities. This makes them ideal for abseiling, but they should never be used for climbing. Coiling is a tidy way to carry and store your rope, but a dedicated rope bag has the added benefit of providing a platform for keeping your ropes and your climbing gear free of sand and grit. The rope you choose will depend on the sort of climbing you want to do, how much weight you're prepared to carry, and how much money you want to spend. One more thing, ropes lose some of their strength and gain weight when wet, which is why some ropes have dry treatments applied to them. <laughs>